Hi guys, this is Rasha and I welcome you all back to the next video in series of the MyTax Global Link Research Program 2023. So those of you who are new to my channel and don't know exactly about this process, I suggest that you head over to my YouTube channel, go over to the MyTax Global Link playlist and see whether this program is suitable for you and if it's something that you want to look forward to. And also a footnote, I am a current MyTax research intern at ETS Montreal and my internship is almost uh, at the conclusion. So today's video is more about how you're gonna come to the final step. That is the submission step of the MyTax Global Link application procedure. So I'm going to walk you through the website and explain step-by-step step all the things that you need to keep in mind. So let's get over to the website. So this is the main website for, my, for the MyTax GRI program. You need to click here if you want to register and make your submission for the MyTax process. So when you click over here, you will be headed to this particular page. Now, if you're someone who hasn't registered for this program yet, you click on register, put your name, last name, email ID, where you want to get all the correspondent mails from, my tax and password. But I have already made my registration. So I have logged into my page. And as you can see, there are two tabs, one for projects, one for applications. So in my previous video, I have explained how you can make the selection for your projects, which projects you want to apply to. So uh, the people who have already passed this particular Step, should now head over to the Applications tab and start your application for the MyTax GRI. You'll see over here the deadline for your application is mentioned as September 22. And keep a note of the application ID. It's going to be beneficial for you in the future. These are all the sections that you need to fill while making your submission for this particular program. As you can see, we have personal information, education, background and research interests, which is the most important part of this particular application, experience with MyTax, academic reference, which you need to upload, acknowledgements, my projects and documents. So let's start off with the very first one. So as you can see, you need to fill your personal information in this section. So you write in your given name, middle name and surname. This needs to be in correspondence with what has been written on your passport. So if you have a middle name, just keep in mind that you fill all the information according to what has been mentioned in the passport. Any additional mail, if just to be on the safer side, your gender, date of birth, and country or region where you are enrolled as full-time at an eligible university. So I am from India, so I'll just type India and select this and press enter. Preferred language of correspondence, either English or French, whichever you are more comfortable in. And valid passport. Okay. So if you already have a valid passport, at least till uh, January of 2024, if not, then you can either apply for a new passport right now or wait for the application procedure to complete and apply for it maybe next year. So it's your personal choice. Citizenship, so mine is India, so I'll go ahead with that one. Second, citizenship, if applicable, so you need to write that over here. Move on to education. So since I had uh, clicked on India as my home country, now I can choose the university I'm a part of. So for me, it is Thapa Institute of Engineering and Technology. Accordingly, type in the name of your university and then uh, fill all the rest of the details according to your degree and course. So my course was electronics, instrumentation and control, and it came under the electrical and instrumentation engineering department. So I fill that accordingly. My college is in Punjab. So I write that discipline category. So mine was engineering. It For you, it can be business, computer science, law, physical sciences, etc. And role program type, either it's a full time undergraduate or a combined undergraduate and master's course, like a five-year degree plan, something like that. And anticipated month and year of graduation from your current program. And my average grade is, so keep in mind, what is the grade scale of your university? And accordingly convert it to 100% scale. This is a very important step, so you need to do it very carefully. If you have completed any English or French proficiency exam, 
so you need to fill out the details here especially if you're someone from india then you don't need to give any exam like ielts or toefl so there on we move to the next step background and research interest this is the very 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 important step so the thing is in the first question general description of skills background knowledge research interests and experience the first thing that you need to keep in mind is the maximum word count is 100 words but i suggest that you make a draft of this particular question in a word file and keep on modifying your answer to cater to what represents you best and like at the end of the day you are satisfied by whatever answer that you have given make sure in these 100 words you write everything that you have wanted to write so in this particular question you need to mention you can mention like what is your degree what are the courses that might help you in the projects which you have chosen what was the thing that actually made you inclined towards research have you had any experience before while uh, in the research domain have you worked in any industry or if you worked on a particular project what are the skills that you exhibited so make sure to write all the things which you think is relevant for you and for the projects which you want to apply to so you need to be really true and honest while answering these questions because they will reflect your interest in the projects that you want to apply to because the professors are going to read these questions the answers to these questions and it will help in definitely in some way or the other in determining whether they select you for this project or not the next question is notable achievements so here you need to write all the things which you have achieved till now in your maybe in your school and college all the awards that that you might have won or the participations which you have uh, made uh, or where you exhibited teamwork or is there any other thing which you feel and help showcase your um like your prior interest to this particular research area and if you have already done uh, achieve something in that particular domain this can help you but you don't need to be worried if your um your cv or your resume is not very impressive as of uh, as of yet because i know some people wouldn't have a very impressive cv but still got selected for this internship just because they showcase their willingness training how they have been in their college life what was their academic achievement so you can write that if you don't have a very impressive resume write that you you have this particular academic achievement and you intend to you know work in research going in the future and you work you wish to work in these particular domains and that you're learning these things now so that you can work better in these areas in the future so you can do that and then we have some mcqs in your ideal internship project how frequently would you be engaged in the following activities so i'm going to go back and go to the projects tab okay so here if you scroll down and see the project click on view detail here you will see project activities the thing is they are analyzing what is your ideal internship type i don't know how much impact your answers to the mcqs would be but it's a, it's important to get some bit of idea in your mind like what kind of things that you want to do whether you want to have report writing more often than a uh, conductive interviews so you can keep that in mind while answering your questions so going back to the okay to the application so you see that you can answer so there are about 14 questions so answer them according to what you feel your project would be expecting from you and have you completed any research outside of your degree coursework so if you have not then you write no over here that means that you only need to answer two questions in this application 
But if you have, then you click on yes. If so, approximately how many hours of research have you completed? So there are some hours mentioned on how much you devoted for those particular projects in total. And the third question pops up if you have done research apart from your coursework. Briefly describe the research work you have completed. So you need to write everything which you worked upon. So if you worked with an industry or worked on a remote online project or you're working in a um, with a professor from a different university, what was, what was the project? Did you get a publication out of it or not? The thing is, these questions, answering to these questions entirely depends on you. Everybody has a different style of writing, but the only thing you need to keep in mind is getting your answer perfect in 100 words. So it, it entirely depends on you, how you want to write, how you want to showcase your skills, which parts do you think is more important, writing them in the, uh, in the beginning and writing and making the flow of the answers in such a manner as to hi highlight all the skills and the, the hard skills and the soft skills which are re relevant to your course or some things which you have done apart from your course which help in achieving the research targets. So this is my advice on answering the questions to uh, answering these particular questions. And then on we move to experience with my tags. So quickly just how you heard about my tags and if you would be available for the 12 week internship. So then we move on to academic reference. So this is the part where you upload your letter of recommendation. So you are required to provide one reference letter from your professor. So, and there are two options of uploading that. Option one is invite your referring professor to submit a confidential reference letter to MyTax. This is where the professor directly mails the letter of recommendation to MyTax. I did not go for this method, but if this is what you think is more comfortable for you and your professor, then you can do this one. Then we have option number two, upload a reference letter yourself. I did this one. I wrote a reference letter by myself, got it reviewed by my professor and got it signed from her. Then you can upload it directly over here. So if you're someone who's going to write their LOR, I would suggest that you write your LOR in such a way that you exhibit like when did that particular professor guide you or teach you or whether they supervised you in a particular project and highlight all the, your positive qualities and your academic achievements, how certain experiences shaped who you are today and how does it help uh, your personality to be suitable in a research landscape how did you perform in a team and how was your skills uh, fusion led to any particular good result? So this is something you can do. And I also suggest you watch some more videos about how to prepare LORs so that you can prepare a good one and get it signed from your professor. Then we move on to my projects. Okay, so this is very important. So you, as you can see, I have selected some of the projects and for your reference. So once you have applied for the projects, as you can see, use the up and down arrow keys to rank the projects. And matching and selection for internships will be based in part on the preferences of the student applicants. As you can see that I have chosen one provinces in uh, Ontario and two as British Columbia. But you need to apply for a minimum of three projects in three different provinces. So since I have an option of choosing four more projects, I would either go for one different province like Nova Scotia or other one like Alberta. So it is important. So as you can see, I if I want to change the my ranking for the projects, so I can click on this arrow. I feel that I want to I want this particular project to be higher in comparison to the other projects. So I click on this one and this. So, and then I click on confirm project list change. So that this becomes final uh, and is saved on the MyTax portal. So the thing is, 
some of the students were asking me how the MyTax matching process goes. So I found this uh, on their website. So what the thing is that the professor project proposals are submitted to MyTax reviewed and accepted. Then the applications from students are submitted to MyTax. So they have, the MyTax team has a criteria based off on which they rank the students. And the list of possible matches is just generated by combining the lists of professors submitted by all the students. And each match is weighted based on the student's score and ranking. So the thing is, if you are confident that you're going to get selected for a particular project and you put it on rank one and incidentally that particular professor also put you in rank one so you see that's a clear match you you will go together and you are finalized for that particular project but uh, the final suggestion would be because this process is purely random if you if you're pretty sure about your selection for a particular project rank that project higher apart from the other ones which you have selected and keep in mind the competition for those particular projects if you are aware if you have done background research and if you see that a particular project is more competitive in comparison to the other ones and if you are going to apply for a very high ranked university like British Columbia, then there are chances that if your resume is not very impressive, then you might not get selected for that project. So keep your options open, go through the list of projects, see the different prof professors and the projects which you want to apply to, and make a balanced uh, selection for the seven projects which you're gonna choose. So keep in mind high ranking projects and some low ranking projects and, you know, and rank them accordingly. So this is a very important step. It is very crucial to your selection. So this step should be done really carefully. Then on we move to documents which are required. So you need to upload your CV and transcript over here. So in my previous videos, I've already explained how you can possibly make a CV. And for the transcript, there was one student who asked me like, uh, his university is not providing him the official transcript unless it's the end of the degree. So what, what you can do if you're someone whose university is not providing you a transcript now, you can go over to the main website or in whatever mode your university gives out your results. So make a proper word file of your results of each particular semester and then make it in a PDF and submit it. So that would also work perfectly fine because if it's the, on the official website, you have the credentials of your university, so it's authorized. So that would be uh, acceptable by my tax. So, so that's about it for the application procedure. Now, all you have to do is keep in mind which projects you want to apply to, how you want to rank them, get all your documents in place like the LOR, transcript, and the CV, and answer those questions really well. And that would then make your application fit for submission. And keep on saving your prospects. Uh, progress on the MyTax portal and make sure that it is fully complete before the deadline so that you're not disappointed if it doesn't get submitted. So these are some of the important things that you need to keep in mind. If you have any doubts regarding the same, you can comment down your doubts in the section below or you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. I would be more than ha happy to help. Already, I have a lot of students coming up to me with their queries and I'm gladly answering to all of them. So I wish you all the best for your application and make a really great submission and then leave it up for my tags to decide for your application. Until then, bye.